Hello everybody. Um, today is Wednesday, June 17th and it's 1.44 p.m. 1.44. Oh, wow. On the 17th. <laughs> uh, well, that was a nice coincidence, huh? Was it? <laughs> I wanted to do a little follow-up on my last video that I did yesterday when I was saying maybe one of y'all could help me out with the was it was he gonna was the Antichrist gonna rule for 42 months or the whole seven years or whatever well I found by typing into Google I put I, I put the question in I put scriptures referring to the Antichrist ruling for 3.5 years something like that well I got several choices and this one seems to be the best that has quotes the scriptures that I wanted okay so I'm just gonna go over the first part of this and I'll leave the link in the description box for anybody that would like to know more let me see how I'm uh, I was going to read it to the last scripture and then um, well, I don't know it's not that much longer until then it goes into a whole lot of links I, they have to be links right because they're they're in blue well they don't they're not underlined but they're probably links so I'll just I'll read it's not that long it's the site is um, ICHTHYS I C H T H Y S, and it's it's written in Greek in the fish in the form of the fish. I think that's what it's I X O Y, and then it kind of looks like an E, and I'm pretty sure that's Greek. ICHTHYS dot com. Uh, male dash antichrist seven or three and a half okay it's titled the reign of antichrist seven years or three and a half years so it's uh, the perfect site question is if the man antichrist and the beast out of the bottomless pit are one how is it that the Antichrist reigns seven years and the beast out of the abyss reigns three and a half years well okay I'll just read what they say response as to the apparent discrepancy between the seven years of Antichrist's rule and the three and a half years, the first thing to note is that while the tribulation lasts for seven years, the great tribulation is the second half of that period. 3.5 years etc see I think now that we're in the first half look at everything that's been going on animals dying fish millions of fish birds are falling out of the sky waters are turning blood red we've had extreme weather fires like crazy even though a lot of it is man man made man done evil men causing it the Lord's allowing it and we know the Bible says Satan's gonna do what he can because he knows his time is short so he's ramped up his evil all right so let me keep reading what this website has to say um, as to the apparent discrepancy between the seven years of Antichrist's rule and the three and a half years, 
The first thing to note is that while the tribulation lasts for seven years, the Great Tribulation is the second half of that period. 3.5 years, etc. It will be helpful here to insert a passage from Part 3A of the Coming Tribulation series, which collects the pertinent passages. The 42 months of Revelation 11 verses 1 and 2. This period of time wherein the Gentiles will trample, and they've got that in quotes, Jerusalem is, as explained above, a reference to the Great Tribulation, which commences with the seventh trumpet directly after the termination of the two witness ministry discussed in chapter 11. Now we have to keep in mind that some man or woman or both or several put this together, okay? This is the same as reading a commentary in your Bible. They're not always right, okay? But they go on to list the scriptures, which is what I wanted. Okay, so I'll go ahead and continue reading. Our Lord makes a similar reference to the trampling of Jerusalem by Gentiles in Luke 21, 24, and tells us, Let's see, I could tell you what he said. They will fall by the edge of the sword <clears throat> and be led captive among all nations and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And that's the English Standard Version of Luke 21, 24. All right. So, the Lord makes a reference to that and tells us that this situation of Gentile intrusion and conquest will continue, quote, until the Gentiles' times have been fulfilled, unquote. Oh, Gentiles is apostrophe, yeah meaning possession, yeah, quote, is until the Gentiles' times have been fulfilled, unquote. That is, until his second advent or coming brings Antichrist's control. The word advent makes me wonder if this is not a Catholic site, but not necessarily. Uh, control of, uh, let's see. Until his second advent brings Antichrist's control of Israel and Jerusalem to a violent and immediate conclusion. It will be useful at this point to summarize the various scriptural designations for the 42 month time period covered by the Great Tribulation. All right. In Daniel 7.25, the saints of the Most High, in parentheses, i.e. believers, closed parentheses, are said to be handed over into the power of the little horn, parentheses, i.e. the Antichrist and the Great Persecution, closed parentheses, for a time, times, and half a time. A biblical way of expressing the three and one half years of the Great Tribulation. See, to me that doesn't make any sense. This is probably why a lot of people believe in the uh, there's no rapture, 
we're handed over to the the Antichrist and probably a lot of people get be beheaded. Some are just running around hoping to stay hidden for their lives, you know, and the Lord's just going to protect you. Well, then what about the raptures? We're definitely, you see, what I spoke about last night in 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 3, that is the first rapture, the departure, and then is the revealing of the Antichrist. That's the first seal. So then you've got war and famine and economic failure and you got the martyrs crying how long oh lord uh and he says just be patient a little longer until your fellow brethren are to be martyred as you were which means they're you know they're going to be beheaded that hasn't happened yet and then you have the great earthquake at the sixth seal and then the next thing you see is the multitude, too large to number, appears in heaven. It says they will no longer be hungry or thirsty or hot or tired. They've washed their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. Okay, that's all in Revelation. Okay, chapter 7. Verses 9 through 17. Okay, let me read the next one. In Daniel 9, 26. The people of the prince which is to come, i.e. Antichrist, as the ruler of revived Rome, it says here. He's going to be the ruler of the New World Order, which, of course... Rome, uh, there for a while, owned all the, the populated lands that we know of. I mean, maybe not the Far East. They've been there as long as there, anyone else has been around, as far as I know. Anyway, um, that's where the wise men supposedly came from. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, the Antichrist as the ruler of revived Rome. Now that's, that's not from the Bible, that is from them, this site. Okay, so back again in Daniel 9, 26. The people of the prince which is to come, which is the Antichrist, will make a treaty during the last seven and break it in the middle of the seven. That is, during the middle of the seven years at the outset of the Great Tribulation. So, we know now that Obama has been working behind the scenes and telling Trump what to do. That came out on Israeli News Live, if I'm not mistaken. Lord, forgive me if I'm wrong about the source, but I saw it on a video of one that I found there's I find his sources now that I know what I know from other people like Celeste Salam Solom, however you say it, and what she was she was in the FEMA, she has credibility that Dr. Day she was also working with high ups. She has credibility. These people that Yana has been interviewing, Yana Danoon from Israeli News Live, those videos are excellent to know these things that are um, they're like, what's going on? But but how does it relate to prophecy? Some of it's talking about the mark of the beast. Some of it's talking about, uh, like, the Obama and Clinton telling Trump what to do behind the scenes. Why them? Why her? 
I just find that so hard to believe because when she was running for president, she clearly had that bobbin head going on. People thought she had kuru, which is possible. That comes from eating human flesh, especially the brain. I don't know how that would taste, but apparently if you're high up in Satanism and witchcraft, they need it for power. It's disgusting to me. Any kind of cannibalism is disgusting to the Lord. You know it is. Anyway, let's move on with this. Stick to the subject. All right. So, how can that be? How can it be that he makes a treaty during the last seven and then break it in the middle of the seven. In the middle of the seven years at the outset of the Great Tribulation, which is halfway through the seven years. In Daniel 12, 7, the angel speaking with Daniel declares that it will be, quote, a time, times, and half a time, unquote, before the persecutions stop and everything comes to an end. That is, the Great Tribulation will last three and one half years. In Revelation 11, 2, the Gentiles, i.e., the army of Antichrist, will afflict Jerusalem for 42 months. That is, during the entire three and a half year period of the Great Tribulation, albeit under varying circumstances. Let's see, they should explain that. In Revelation 12, 6, the woman... Israel is said to be protected for 1,260 days. That is, during the whole 42 months of the Great Tribulation, expressed in standard 30-day months. That's what I always thought, that it's Israel that is protected. The genuine... Uh, Orthodox Jews who are loving God and his word and looking forward to their Messiah. They didn't believe Jesus was the Messiah, so they missed both raptures. So they're taken off somewhere and protected. Now what about the Jews that aren't genuine Orthodox Jews? The Jews who say they are Jews but are not. Well, they're probably in on it anyway, so they're helping it happen. That's what I think. But somebody's getting persecuted. And if the church has been raptured in the first three and a half years, probably shortly before the midpoint, so, when did it start? You know, can we back up, say, 3.4 years and find a, find a, a starting point? That would be interesting. If you find a starting point, then you might find a midpoint which would be, see, that's why I don't think the two raptures are too far apart. I just do not believe they can be three and a half years apart. And that's what people have, have said, alluded to, that you have your first rapture pre-trib, and then three and a half years later, you have your second rapture. Well, do you think the six seals will go on for three and a half years and then all the bowls and trumpets go on for three and a half years? If so,
the Antichrist may come on the scene but won't get the power from Satan until the second rapture. See, it's, it's, it's complicated. It, anybody who thinks they got it down pat and know exactly how it's going to happen, well, you know, good for you, but I, I don't know how you could. Let's move on. In Revelation 12, 14, the woman Israel, I, I shouldn't say that because some people have studied eschatology all their life and they may know, they, but I've yet to see a video where somebody can say this is the starting point, this is the midpoint, and this is the end point. And maybe that is because the Lord said no man knows the day or the hour. And if we could pinpoint exactly when all this started or will start, then we could calculate the date of the midpoint. I mean, I'm, I'm, do you see what I'm saying? That it's all supposed to be a mystery, not just for us, but for the enemy. Okay, in Revelation 12, 6, the woman Israel is said to be protected for 1,260 days. Okay, I think I read that already, yeah. In Revelation 12, 14, the woman Israel is said to be protected for a time, times, and half a time. That is during the same period of the Great Tribulations, three and a half years. It's just worded a little different. In Revelation 13, 5, the unbridled reign of Antichrist is said to last for 42 months. That is, for the duration of the Great Tribulation. That's what I was talking about. 42 months is how it's worded. That's why I couldn't find it. Revelation 13.5 is the scripture that says he will reign. The unbridled reign is to last 42 months. The last passage here is one at the root of your question. The Greek of Revelation 13 5 B and the text printed in many Greek versions is not entirely correct okay this is a word a word for you Sinai Sinaiticus 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 and that's Aleph has the correct reading states it was given to him i.e. the beast to do what he wishes for 42 months unquote that quote started with it was given to him to do what he wishes for 42 months the precise language here is in complete agreement with what we find in Daniel 11.36. Then the king, i.e. Antichrist, will do as he pleases. Okay, that was all in quotes. Then the king will do as he pleases. With the Hebrew phrase, Sir Sir Sono, and then it's written in Greek, being an exact equivalent of the Greek hothele or QE slash LEI. That's Greek to me. Ha ah, No, seriously, that's Greek. Clearly, in Daniel chapter 11, Antichrist has already completed two campaigns against the Southern Alliance. By the time we reach this verse, 
So that has not only been, quote, raining, unquote, for some time, but has also engaged in major military aggression before the period of being able to fully, quote, work his will, unquote, begins. And that is the essence of the 3.5 years of the Great Tribulation. There is no longer any restraint upon the Antichrist. All other major opposition in the world, having been dealt with in one form or another, among the many horrors which follow is the great persecution which will yield more martyrs for Jesus Christ than all persecutions since slaying of Abel put together. The reference is Revelation 7, 9-14. Oh, see, they're saying that the multitude too large to number appear in heaven are, are martyrs. When it doesn't even talk about martyrdom until after that. See, that's my opinion. I know that the Lord told me there are two raptures. And if it's not, then, then when? Immediately after? It can't be before all the people are beheaded. Because they go directly to heaven. Of course, it doesn't say in, in a glorified body. They may not get that until they're resurrected. Which is when Jesus comes to earth. So that's food for thought. What do you think? Could a rapture be sooner than before the six seals are up? Of course it could be. They could be. I've just, in my studies, found that to be the plausible scripture to prove the second rapture. Because by then, those of us who come back to help people get saved, to harvest the wheat, you see, we're the barley. The barley is the first fruits. Just because it's not barley season doesn't mean we can't be the barley. See, I used to think that we'd have to be raptured during the barley season and it would come and it would go. And I'd think, oh, well, okay, not this year. And then, you know, if people said, oh, it could be this time and this time, I'd be like, oh, that'd be nice. That'd be great, but it's not barley season. You know, so... I kept it in the back of my mind and now I'm thinking it doesn't have to be barley season. It could be whenever the Lord wants it. Okay, I'm sure Father has exact day picked out. In God's great grace and mercy, may we be spared from that day. Did I skip a part? Antichrist's gaining of control over Babylon, his seizure of revived Rome, and his successful conquest of the southern Egyptian-led alliance all happen within the first half of the seven years, leaving him with a free hand to persecute the people of God during the last three and a half years. See, this... this Clearly, it's not believing in the rapture. This is a site that does not believe in the rapture. 
And that is why this 42-month period is called the Great Tribulation. The, the, the Great Tribulation is when God pours his wrath out on the evil, not out on his own people that believe in him, not out on his own children. It's I just can't even imagine. You've got the Antichrist doing his stuff, and then you've got the wrath of God coming down on Satan's people. It's just going to be horrible. I'd rather be, if I was still left behind by then, I'd want to be beheaded just to get out of there. All right. And that is why this 42-month period is called the Great Tribulation. And then they've got reference to Daniel 12, 1, and Matthew 24, 21. All right. In God's great grace and mercy, may we be spared from that day. But if it be our lot to suffer through it, May we be blessed to do so in a way that brings honor and glory to our dear Savior who suffered so much for us. Well, okay, they do say in God's great grace and mercy, may we be spared from that day. So did I, did I miss the part about the rapture or did they just not talk about it? Maybe they didn't because that wasn't part of my question. So anyway, that's the scriptures given. He rules and reigns completely. He has complete reign for 42 months for the last three and a half years of the Great Tribulation. According to how they're describing it, I believe this. And But he could come on the scene as a part of leadership in the UN, president of the UN, still subjected to some control, not yet with the power from Satan. You see how that could work. So, Wow, it, sometimes when you read the word, it can leave you with more questions than your answer. But um, in, in this long list here, it says eschatology in the Old Testament, last things and last judgments, more on Antichrist and his kingdom. There's several. Here's Antichrist and his kingdom, CT part 3B. Anyway, the point is, I'll leave the link. So if you'd like to look into some of these, I would like to know. Uh, I'm going to go to the home site real quick and see. It says, um, it's got that ichthys. That's the name of the fish, right? Ichthys. Bible study for spiritual growth. And now, now grow up through the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. That's Second Peter 3.18. New Bible Basics 6B. Ecclesiology. The church. Ecclesiology. Hmm. They've been up 20 years. I would have to do more in-depth study to find out if there's any real problems with the site. But what I was saying is you just... I, I choose to take the Bible scriptures that they've pulled out for me. And that's why I couldn't find it because I was putting in time times and half time and three and a half years. I wasn't thinking 42 months so I couldn't pull up that scripture. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and this teaching and I hope that it helped. 
I hope it didn't cause any further confusion to anybody. I still hold to the what Jesus told me. There are two raptures. They both will come before the three and a half years of the first seven. And somehow the Antichrist will come in back onto the scene because he is the eighth and is of the seven. It makes perfect sense. How does that happen? It's got to be through all this chaos. They're creating the chaos so they can maybe even pretend to shoot Trump. You know, just try to keep in mind don't let your emotions get away with you because a whole lot of what they do is Hollywood acting. Okay? It's actors. And I'm not the first person to say that. Okay? I've just learned it. Okay? They do put on things that look real, really real, that aren't real so that they can cause a commotion so that they can try to get guns or try to get this done or get that agenda done and now they want a civil riot they want a civil war they want a racial war so let's not go there we love one another because we're all God's children and let's not partake in the hate because that's exactly what they want they want us to start hating each other and we can't we can't go there we can't I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection myself and my computer and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections and I pray we can stay connected until we're out of here. Which I pray to God is any day now. This month or next, there's a lot of possible dates. And oh, I'm not going to set a date. I may share a video where someone has had a dream that looks real promising. The Lord does talk to us in dreams and visions and messages. We just have to use discernment and not pin our hopes on a date. It may be a, a date on a Julian calendar or something like that. Anyway, the Lord is mysterious and we, we will never figure him out. I just don't think so. We'll go to heaven and we'll get to sit in classes that we want to go to. And I don't think there will be many people that won't want to. Because we'll just want to know all we can and I can't wait. Anyway, I'll just say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Oh, how wonderful it will be to see you all in person. Won't it? I mean, just think about it. Let's keep our minds on heavenly things, not on what's going on down here. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.